Hey everyone, this is uh, Adam from Wargaming Central uh, to bring you second installment of Doc Ops Mech Shop. Uh, today we're just going to be looking at uh, painting orc flesh because I guess I'm a bit of a, an expert at that now. <laughs> um, Alright, so just got one I've started here, but we'll just swap them out for a new guy. Now, uh, orc flesh is fairly simple to um, to sort of, well, I guess not perfect, but just to, to replicate. Um, I like to use wall flesh, as the name suggests. It's the perfect orc color. And then we've also got uh, Warboss Green. I'll have a video up soon about how to put it in a bottle like this. Um, and also the camo shade. Um, you could probably use Agrax, uh, Agrax or shade. Um, I like the camo shade. It makes makes sides paint it all over the model and still keep the green, as opposed to giving the orc sort of like a brown, um, a brown wash over the top. Um, but yeah, you could you could you could use Agrax. Um, alrighty, so we'll start start with this fella and like that. So this part is fairly straightforward. Just um, put the green on all the bits you want green. water down your paints so. Just in there. you're not using the best of brushes my other brush fell down but it's just the job getting all the little uh, a little bit, doesn't matter if it gets on all the clothes. And it's probably just, probably a little thick. There we go, that's probably, that's better. So you just continue this on all 1,000 of your orcs. Probably need two, two or three, uh, two or three layers of it. Probably not. So you probably need two or three layers of it to uh, get a good, uh, get a good coverage on it. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you get all up here, and it's going to be covered with paint anyways. Probably want to use a better brush than I have. And don't forget his face. It's actually a pretty good brush for faces. And underneath. There we go. Um, this a little bit. So um, we'll just let that dry and. Um, Come back to adding the shade. Alrighty. So now we're up to the part to do the shading. Just put my hand in the way here. So this um, this paint you don't need to thin down. It's already pretty thin. It's like ink. Make a little bit on the on my palette, and my personal preference is just to paint the whole model with it. Some people just focus on the uh, 
on the recesses, but with this one being green, you can just probably go all over it. It's just focusing, focusing all your your shade in the um, in the recess parts. So. That's better. On bits like the fingers, I like to just focus my run down this way across. There we are, dogs barking in the background. Cool. And we'll to the face. The face is pretty good too. Just get all the eye sockets even even with the teeth like again you're gonna be paying more paint over it so there we are so let's just dry it won't be as long as say the base paint drying by the time you sort of work out your, say I have about 30 of them, um, you start with the base coat, and by the time you get all the way to the end, that first one's probably going to be dry by then. So you can hit, and because you've thinned down your paints too, it doesn't dry, it doesn't take as long to dry. So by the time you've gotten all the way to the end, you start on the first work again, repeat the process, and it makes it a lot quicker and especially in this shading process you just hit hit the whole model with the shade move on to the next model and you just rinse and repeat to get uh, to get all your orcs painted up but now I'll put this guy down let him dry and uh, I'll show you um, how to add the lighter green to really bring out all the all the muscles and, and that new orc arms and on the face Alrighty, now it's time to add in the lighter green. So I'm gonna just use my little, just to put just a dot, and then I'll grab some water, do the same, just a little dot. I'm using a thinner brush here. So now, <clears throat> getting these takes a bit of practice to get, but um, once you sort of look at uh, what looks good, of like how much green you've put on, um, yeah, it'll be easier and longer. This actually is shaded really well, so if I do say so myself. But um, yeah, so you just hit all the highest parts. You want you you're, you're highlighting the higher parts, so bits like here and in here, the whole whole arm is going to be covered in this green. And the dog's going mental again in the background. And just keep moving along in the arm. Probably help too if you had anatomy anatomy skills. Probably would know which one doesn't need to be highlighted. No. Going over. Sometimes you just have to sort of take a step back and look at the, look at what needs what you're painting because some of the bits get a little tricky here on the um, on the elbow. So sometimes I just I just skip it until the end. Again, it doesn't matter if you get it on the armor, because you're gonna paint over it. 
and already it's looking really good. Just go farther in there. Move on to my favorite part, the bicep. And it's easier too on these orcs. They have heaps of heaps of character in the models. So getting parts like you know the ridges of the eyes and um, their lips and and chins just yeah makes it a lot easier when you're doing the highlighting on these things. Let's get you in focus a little more. So uh, that's, yeah, that's looking pretty good at the moment. Um, just keep going. Another thing I like to do is on the hands, it's easy to do this. You just do the fingers in one easy little stroke and cover the whole hand. And then you'll hit it as well with a, um, I hit it with a two to one mix of green and I have a gray, I don't have a white at the moment. So I have this gray and then you'll hit all the knuckles and but we'll get to that point. Alrighty. So, see by the time I worked all the way down the arm, that top part of the arm is fairly dry now anyway, so I can sort of go back over it and fix up some of my parts. Let's work on the face now a little bit. So, on this guy, see how close I can get. pretty cool looking features. So what we'll do is we will get here um, and stay out of the, the eye holes um, inside of the ears and in the mouth and just underneath the chin there's a little you'll see where all the, the shade settles. So I will keep going and um, I'll come back when I've, when this is dry, probably grab out another model. Cool. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to do the, the final bit of the, um, of the highlighting. So I'll just get it a little, it's about, two to one ratio of uh, green to, well, I like to use the Warboss green. Two is gray, both one gray. So, shake this a little bit. So, you just get some on your brush. And if you haven't noticed, I am using a different orc model each time just to save on video space. So, here we are. We're gonna get pieces like the knuckles, um, little bits 
of like the muscle that are sort of raised up. And especially on these orcs, they have the the ridge on the lip and on the ridge on the lip and on the chin. So To the knuckles. And you repeat again on the top. mistake you can reverse the step by adding the just the war boss green and then you just wait for it to dry and come back to that spot again so just a little vein here and on the elbow more knuckle parts crazy again and that's about it for this guy um, and we'll show you on this one so done his head and you just sort of you can do the you do the tops of the ears as well just like this just sort of carefully put the paintbrush over the top adds a little extra depth to these guys. I mean, they have heaps of character anyways, but yeah. So, um, that concludes uh, the second episode of Doc Ops Mech Shop. Stay tuned for a video on how to put, uh, put paint in dropper bottles. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, I hope to see you again.